understand, Ethan. What? You thought I was just going to say, have a nice life, Teresa, and let you walk out of here just like that? Well, I mean, I guess I did. I mean, isn't that why you told Gwen and your mother and the detective that I wasn't the girl who caused all those accidents that happened to you? And just because I didn't ID you as a stalker doesn't mean this thing is over with. It's far from it. But I swear, Ethan, I'll stay far away from you from now on. I promise, just let me go. Forget it. You're not walking out of here free to stalk someone else. I wouldn't do that. I'm not like that. I'm sorry. I can't risk it. Are you going to have me arrested after all? Arrested, Teresa. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you so much. Don't be so quick to thank me. The only reason I covered for you in front of my mother, Gwen, and Frank is because I didn't want to hurt Pilar. My mother? Yes, she means a great deal to me. She's like part of my family. I know. You know, I could have told everyone that Frank was right, that you were my stalker, but I didn't because of your mother. Oh, Ethan, you don't know how much this means to me. I mean, I'd die if my mother had to suffer because of something I've done. You still owe me an explanation, Teresa. I'm not about to unleash you onto the rest of the world so you can go out and attack the next person you have a problem with. Who's to say it might be another member of my family? I would never do that. All those things I did to you were just accidents, I swear. You see why that's difficult for me to believe, don't you? Yes. But it's true, Ethan. The first time at the carnival when the paint spilled, I didn't even know it was you. And then when I found out, I got nervous when you showed up at the burger hut. I swear, all I wanted to do was help clean the milkshakes off you. I thought the bucket had water in it, not barbecue sauce. And then my brother Luis made me take that fish cleaning job at the cannery. How could I know you and Gwen would show up there my first night? And the heat liniment. I still have welts on my back from that. I grabbed the wrong bottle. I thought it was body oil. I had no idea it was going to burn your skin. I swear, I would never do anything to hurt you on purpose, Ethan. You have to believe me. I'd like to believe that, Teresa. But it's kind of strange how you've assaulted me every time I met you. I didn't mean to. I mean, of all the people in Harmony, wh why did you single me out? I didn't. I told you it was just an accident. Well, there's got to be a better explanation than that, Teresa. And I want to hear it right now. Tell me why you are so unbelievably accident-prone every time you're around me. Or have you done this to other people? No. This has never happened before. And you aren't doing this simply because of the fact that I'm a crane, otherwise you would have been harassing my family, too. So why me? I just hope you believe I am not a threat to anyone else. Not anyone in your family or in Harmony or anywhere has to worry that I'll cause another accident again. Not even you anymore. And I should believe that because... Well, since I started working here in this house for your mother, I've spent a lot of time around you. I even helped you in your bedroom, typing up a report and nothing happened. That's not entirely true, Teresa. Ethan. But I'll take the blame for that one, since I was having the dream about the stalker when I grabbed you. You know, maybe my subconscious had finally picked up that you were the stalker. You know, I... There was something about your eyes, but I just thought they looked like your mother's, but that's not what it was. They were the eyes of the girl who's been attacking me. You'll never know how sorry I am, Ethan. I just want this whole mess to be finished once and for all. And so do I. Since you've admitted that I'm the only one that you have these accidents around, I'd like to ask you a favor. I'll do anything, anything you say. The favor I want is, is for you to stay away from me, Teresa. But I already told you I, I quit my job as your mother's personal secretary. I'm never coming back to this house ever again. No, you don't understand. I don't want to run into you outside of my house. I want your word that if you see me on the streets or in a restaurant, you will run, not walk, as far away from me as you can. Are you 
you saying you never want to see me again as long as you live? Well, since I'm the only one who these accidents seem to happen around, I think the best solution is that you stay away from me, starting the second you walk out that door. Can you promise me that? Teresa, I don't want to have to call the police. No, please, don't, don't do that. I'm warning you. If you have one of your accidents around me, I will turn you in. I won't risk you hurting my family or anyone else. I promise. I won't see you again. Forever. Yes. Forever. I wanted to thank you for not turning in my daughter to your mother or the police. You knew she had done all those things to me. I only found out recently. I am so sorry, Ethan. Well, I guess I don't blame you for not reporting your daughter to me or my mother. But why did you let her continue to work here in the house, even though she was accident-prone, shall we say, around me? Well, I was against Teresa coming to work here from the beginning, even before I knew about the incidents. And then when I found out, I told Teresa that she had to turn down the job. She disobeyed you? My daughter's a very stubborn young woman. She was determined to work here. And that's what I don't get. I mean, was it just for the opportunity to work with my mother? Or did it have something to do with me? Who uh, you think that Teresa wanted to be near you, Ethan? To plan an accident, I assume. Oh, no. Then why else was she so intent on working here in the house? Working for your mother was a wonderful career opportunity for Teresa. But she must have known she couldn't have got away with working that disguise forever. And it was only a matter of time before I discovered it was her. Your daughter was running a terrible risk. You don't know my Teresa very well. <laughs> She has huge dreams, and sometimes she ignores risks in order to go after those dreams. And risking the possibility of being arrested? Well, Teresa refused to believe that she might be hurt. I hope you believe me when I say that the only reason I allowed her to continue to work here was because I was convinced that she never intended to harm you. Everything that happened was an accident. See, that's what Teresa told me. But it's difficult for me to buy into that. I just want to understand why I'm the only person Teresa has these accidents around. And do you know why? Was your daughter accident prone when she was a little girl? No, she wasn't. Well, then maybe she resents our family the same way your son Luis does. Oh, no. Teresa and her brother Luis are nothing alike. Then help me out here, Pilar. I mean, there has to be some reason why I'm the only person that Teresa has these accidents around. What is it? <laughs> <laughs>